Hello gamers! I was recently asked on Twitch how I would nerf or buff a handful of the killers in Dead by Daylight. So I thought I would make an entire video dedicated to this. So I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to make it drop. That's a wet dibidusy. I will only be talking about the killers that I think need a buff or need a nerf. If I don't bring up somebody, it's because I think they're generally fine. So we're going to start with Trapper. Trapper is my main, and so I'm very biased towards him. And I can admit that this might be a really hot take. But I think that Trapper should start with all traps. I think his add-ons could be reworked to accommodate what I'm proposing next. I think his trap should break upon being snapped. Or if a survivor is caught, that trap also breaks. And for him to reload, I think he should get them from lockers. Hunters desperately need some type of of rework on her hitboxes. I swear sometimes as Huntress, you could throw a hatchet at the bog and a survivor will go down on Ormond. And other times you throw one at their feet and they keep zooming off as if they weren't even hit. Bubba needs a nerf involving his chainsaw that if he is within a certain amount of meters of a hooked survivor, that his chainsaw cannot physically activate. There are a lot of killers who can't use their powers when they're near a hooked survivor and I think it should be all or nothing when it comes to that. I think that Pig needs a buff. I think she needs two more hats that are naturally in her inventory. Sometimes you put a hat down on a survivor within the very first gen pop, and then get those hats off before the next gen even pops. So she needs a little bit extra to help her out, and maybe a rework on her add-ons so they're a little more powerful. Clown desperately needs a nerf where his bottles do not cause a distortion or disorienting effect on the screen. This is purely for people with sensory issues. The hindered status effect is fine. The scream effect is fine. I just think the distortion of the camera needs to go away. This is purely an inclusivity concern. I think that Spirit needs a slight buff in that she should be able to see survivors while she's in her chase. I think her power is not necessarily friendly towards auditorily impaired people because her perk relies specifically on being able to hear where they're at and what they're doing. I think that Legion should operate slightly closer towards Plague, so the Legion nerf I'm proposing would act similarly to Plague's broken status effect. This would be a specific broken status effect that happens when you are hit with the deep wound. The deep wound acts like a broken effect. Once you've mended yourself, you're brought back to full HP. With Oni, I think that he needs a desperate buff of getting bigger titties. With Pyramid Head, I think that he needs a buff to give him bigger, fatter, juicier butt cheeks. The twins need a slight switching buff. I think that they should be able to switch between Victor and Charlotte a little more streamlined. Because right now, I think that they're a little bit slow. Trickster needs a nerf that he requires one extra blade to inflict a wound. I think right now it is far too easy for Trickster to get hits. Alternatively, I think that some of his add-ons need a rework to make them stronger. Most of his add-ons are pretty weak in my opinion. I think that Nemesis needs a buff. I think the zombies should be similar to traps or similar to the artist crows. I think they should be able to be placeable and not spawn anywhere on the map because the amount of times that I played Nemesis and Karen has spawned in the corner of the map and just moonwalks into the corner and doesn't do anything, it has been astronomical. Alternatively, I think the zombies need to be slightly slower and I think their stun phase needs to last longer. I also think it'd be interesting if Lightborn worked for the zombies and prevented survivors from blinding them. Now, Pinhead desperately needs a nerf, and I think we all feel this, that the chain hunt is way too oppressive for the person trying to handle the box. If you are handling the box, the chain hunt should completely stop. I also think that his teleportation should not activate unless you fail a skill check. And to make sure that this can happen, make the puzzle solve more in line with the Yellow Glyph skill checks, Merciless Storm skill checks, and Pinhead can only teleport if you miss one of those skill checks. Artist desperately needs a buff, in my opinion. I think she's a very weak killer, and I think part of that comes from the fact that her birds dissolve. I understand that they are riffing off of ink. However, I think the fact that her birds can dissolve makes her very weak as a killer. Onryo needs a slight buff in that she can see the level of progression for condemned survivors. The fact that she cannot see that when other killers can see the progression of their effects on them, like Plague, like Pinhead, like Mastermind, 
Onryo feels very weak, that she can't see that. She has a lot less information than other killers, and she needs that. Mastermind needs a slight nerf, in my opinion, so that his speed is more comparable to the nurse. The fact that his terror radius is so big and disorienting that he can zoom across the map very quickly with his main ability, his speed should be similar to nurse. Now this is going to be a very controversial hot take because I actually really like the knight, but he needs a buff and a nerf. Now we'll start with his buff. I think he should be able to put two of his goons down at a time. Now don't get up in arms yet. They cannot be within a few meters of each other. They have to be semi-far apart. If a survivor is hit by any means, either from a goon or from the knight, all of them disappear that are on the map. I also think that he should not be able to put any of his goons down near a hooked survivor. This goes with players like Charlotte and Victor who cannot switch next to a hooked survivor. Dredge cannot teleport to a locker that is near a hooked survivor. As I said earlier, it should be all or nothing. So those are all my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think anybody desperately needs a buff? Does anyone desperately need a nerf? See you later. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.